Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day because it is another beautiful day here in Arizona. It is like 70 something degrees out. A little warmer than normal, but hey, whatever. It's supposed to have snow flurries the next couple of nights. So today I want to do a quick recap of my experience at the dunes. And I am by no means any expert, but uh, I've been there twice with the Pioneer. I don't see a lot of utility side-by-sides out there, but it can happen if you know what to do. So let's go ahead, let's jump off and let's get started real quick. So first of all, one thing I talked about in my last video was weight. Weight is your enemy at the dunes. Weight savings is everything. As you can see, I've already put the uh, windshield back on. I took that off because hey, it makes you more aerodynamic. Um, the, your power to weight ratio is key for getting up the hills. And if you ever get out there, you will see the guys with the big turbos, or the non-turbo, there's a huge difference, especially when like the non-turbo guys start adding these heavy roll cages and you'll see some of the uh, guys still carrying their spare tire on the back. Some of them struggle or don't even make it up with some of the bigger hills. I eliminated all the weight I could. I mean, I took off the windshield, I took off the bed extender. Anything that I didn't need, I deleted. Now, I didn't go to extreme like some guys. I left my skid plates on, I left the, uh, the winch on because I'm just too lazy to unbolt all that. And hey, you know, what if the Pioneer needs to save the day again? Who knows? Another thing for weight, and this kind of falls in number two, is tires. So I got rid of my big, heavy truck tires. Those things are 54 pounds a piece, and they just flat out stink in the sand. Um, how do I know this? Because we go out riding here, we get the washes, and they just, they, they sink. Uh, point blank and the sand way out in Glamis is way softer. Um, I don't want to call it a sugar sand, but it, it it's pretty easy to get buried. So what I did, I ran, if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and uh, go back and watch that video. When I swapped out to the dunes this last time, I ran some smoothie scat tracks up front and some scat tracks in the back. I think they're an eight paddle. Um, big difference. I mean, these are just a giant balloon tire. So tires are awesome. Um, what I did the first time I ran the dunes, when I just ran the stock rims and tires, is I turned it down to like 4 or 6 PSI. I really widened the stance. The stock Bighorns are a pretty good tire for the dunes, believe it or not. But um, these truck tires just stink. So get you some good tires. So that leads into my next uh, lesson learned. Lesson three is... Uh, a lot of the guys out there run with a locked rear end. The sport uh, side-by-sides don't have turf mode like the Pioneer. I tried that and I did not do well. And what I mean by that, well, my front end was all over the place. I mean, I was just floating back and forth. Um, I did find that the smoothies on the front, because you're not running, I just run 10 PSI, um, really flatten out and they put in four wheel drive, gave me some awesome grip. So if you got side by side, that's a sport you told you like the Pioneer, run it in four wheel drive, it will be night and day. The next thing I did is let's talk about my suspension. My suspension setup is not stock. Now, when I went out there the first time, I ran the stock suspension with the high lifter lift kit, which is like two and a half inches. It was okay. Um, this time I had the Viking shocks and now you do get a couple inches of lift but wow, what a difference. I did screw up. I didn't run my rear sway bar, but you know what I found? I did, I did pretty good, I think, keeping up with all the big boys. Not perfect by any means, but I did have to adjust the rebound in the rear so that the rear end wasn't hopping really bad. If you got stock suspension, you should be fine. Don't run a lift. And the last thing I learned, uh, both times going and you talk to anyone who goes to the dunes is one in doubt, throttle out. Don't be scared of revving your motor out. Anytime you feel like you're going to tip over, just turn down to go down the hill. Now, I did run this thing in sport mode the whole time. There's a few instances, you know, when you restart your engine, when we would stop somewhere, take a break, um, I forget to put it in sport mode. And you could really tell it would shift too early. So I'd manually shift it. Uh, I put it in sport mode. I didn't find myself needing to shift it manually at all because it basically just holds the gear. Um, I didn't overheat at all. I did hit three bars on the coolant one time. And we were running really, really hard 
I, I, I backed off just a little bit, ran it for the next two or three minutes, um, you know, just not, not full throttle the whole time. Came back down to two bars, not a big deal. Now, what? So the reason I may have hit three bars instead of two bars on the coolant is the front light bar. I am blocking part of that grill. But other than that, driving it for maybe a quarter mile, backing off the throttle just a little bit, I left it in sport mode. It came back down to two. Again, I was driving it pretty hard the whole time. So I have done a post-ride inspection. I have not cleaned anything up. Um, all the only thing I've done is put the windshield back on. No damage to the Pioneer. I've checked every mount on the A-arms. Um, nothing is cracked, torn, ripped. Um, nothing going on other than there is sand on every single joint where their, uh, the greaser is. So I do need to get the power washer out, degrease it, clean it, and regrease everything. Um, other than that, the Pioneer was flawless. Again, I can't keep up with people, uh, but I can get to pretty much everywhere they go. And you just gotta pick your lines very carefully. So those are some of my tips and tricks for taking utility side by side out to the dunes. It is a blast. You know, they say, uh, run what you brung and just have fun. Try it out. If you've never been on the dunes, go try it. Lower your air pressure. Uh, what's the worst case scenario? You don't like it, but I bet you if you get out there and you just have some fun and enjoy it, it's a blast. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe, click that notification button. Uh, I got some exciting videos coming up. Like I said, it's it's a brand new year. It's already February. Can you believe that? So until next time, here's uh, some more videos because who wants to listen to me talk all day?